Now, hi YouTube, this is AZ Bill 3433, and this video is um, in response to a recent video by Digitizer 101. It was an update to a, a series of videos that he did on his uh, carbon felt burner utilizing a, or actually he used three, I believe, um, separate Monster Energy drink cans and uh, making those into a series of burners, different size burners, and um, consequently I liked it so much I was going to go ahead and make one myself and I had all the I had all the components made up and was ready to put it together and then I saw that he had a update to his original videos and that video more or less uh, told the story about having run his burner and uh, this top, this this is actually the top to the can, the, the twist off cap um, to the can and uh, his top actually came off, it was actually, actually the uh, JB Weld was deteriorated by the alcohol that was uh, in the burner itself because he had left the um, the, the carbon uh, felt in the burner with some, I believe he probably left it in with some um, alcohol or still in the carbon felt. So consequently it when he tried to twist off the one of his caps which is similar to this you twist off the one of the caps to the actual uh, can itself and you're left with the the top or the cap of the uh, monster energy drink uh, can. This came off uh, because of the degradation of the JB Weld um, because of the alcohol. Now, I, I had the same kind of problem with a, a, another burner that I had actually made, but it wasn't the top came off, it was the bottom came off. And when the bottom came off, you could tell that the JB Weld was gooey and that, uh, you know, that the alcohol had been working on it. So there's really two fixes to his problem of the cap coming off that I can see. And, and of course, one is... Um, either burn off all the alcohol that's that are that are in the wicks that you have on your in your burner just burn it all off let it just burn out till it's done or if you don't want to do that and you want to blow it out then you would actually take the wicks out and um, you know if, if you know you can store them again I have a a kind of a this is a uh, you know part to a pudding that I had for just granola and, and pudding and they, it really works out real well. You can just put, if it's still wet, you just put it in here separately and then put your burner back in again and put your top on and you're all ready to go. And more than likely when you bring it back out again there's still going to be some alcohol residue in the carbon felt. Now the other problem was that I, if you look at his videos, he has a, a series of at least four or five videos it's a DIY type thing where he actually makes the thing from scratch and um, his stem part here is a one inch uh, one inch diameter by seven eighths uh, aluminum flagpole and so consequently that gave him very little surface area in which to actually JB weld the cap on to the top of, of the stem here so what actually I think um, and thinking about that, what I actually did was, and I, I don't know if you can see, but I do have some still photos I'm going to put at the end of the video here, and you'll be able to see, but this is actually, I have this as actually an inch and a quarter by one inch uh, aluminum tubing. It's, um, it's uh, got a real nice surface on the top, so even though I have more surface area, I still was concerned that uh, the... If you look at the, this cap, it's got a ridge on it, so it's not really flat. It's not totally flat on the top. So I was a little bit afraid when I actually put the JB Weld on that I was going to ha probably have the same kind of problem. So on the inside here, I found a, a piece of a... Uh, actually, I have a length of uh, aluminum uh, curtain rod that was in our shower stall that we replaced. And that was a one-inch diameter aluminum pole. And... Um, it's about 15,000 uh, wall thickness 
And all I really had to do to the stem portion of it here is take some sandpaper and take off the, the welded portion, the inside welded portion of the tube so that it was, you know, a nice surface finish on the inside. And I drove in a short length of, uh, of the tubing and just had it sticking out, oh, not more than maybe, oh, less than, oh, less than a sixteenth or maybe even uh, an eighth of an inch. And also the cap that's on the inside here that you have to actually have a hole into this plastic piece fit right over the top of it. So that gave me a shoulder that I could actually um, put the JB weld on and then I actually knew I was actually in center and I didn't have to worry about it uh, being on center and, and then it also gave a shoulder that I could actually put the epoxy up against also. So it worked very very well. And don't forget when you do put this, put one of these on like that you want to turn it over and put some weight on the top, a large book or whatever that gives it some weight so you, it, it actually adheres to both the well, whatever you're putting on the top and your tube here also. Also on the bottom here, this is actually the bottom portion of a Bud Light uh, beer can or, you know, aluminum beer cans that they have. I just cut off that portion there. And, and although so there's a flat on the bottom of the can, I was a little bit concerned of that uh, situation with it not being able to, you know, adhere real well to it. So what I actually have underneath here, and I... I don't have it that you can see it, of course, but there's a washer on the inside, um, which I actually glued down first. And what that is, it created, it was a one inch diameter washer with a eighth inch hole in it. And uh, I marked with a felt pen, uh, pen where the center of, the, of this bottom was. And then I glued down, I put the JB well down and glued that down first and let it sit for a day. And then uh, I had it all centered, and then all I had to do was put this over, and actually I got both center, and I have a shoulder actually I could glue up against. So I knew it was in center, and I knew I had a shoulder to glue up against, and you know the integrity of the glue then was much better than just trying to put it down and you know just have it glued just on the surface alone. So those are the two things, and I, again, there's a shoulder on the inside here. Take take the your felt out and I usually I have the actual uh, felt for both the smaller one I have the felt that goes down on the inside which you can put down on the inside and it goes down here on the inside nicely and then the ring that goes over over that and I actually have mine go down inside all the way inside the cap and uh, this really works out real well as a nice Oh, you know, it's like a, a simmer burner than it is anything else. But when you put the cap, this other cap on, and uh, I have a whole series of other felts that go with that cap, and I take these out, and uh, these have to come out. These have to come out if you put the other cap on. And I really like to hold on to it when I put it on, you know, with both my thumb and my uh, index finger, and uh, twist it so it's nice and tight with that seal on the inside. And then I have a whole series again of other felts to go in here, but good idea to take these felts anytime. If, if you JB weld these, take your either burn them all, all the residue out. Uh, but I still would recommend taking them up. But there, there is some limited amount of alcohol in it, even though it burns out. Take it out, and if you have some way of putting in some kind of storage like that, and you know these go in this one here, and the whole system goes in. Here, and that's how you put it together. So thanks for watching and I'll put those uh, still pictures in the uh, at the end of the video and maybe I'll even put a little burn video on on the end also so you can see how this burns. Thanks for watching.